Hey everyone. Uh, nice frosty morning here this morning. It's hard when it's been about 30 degrees all week and then it goes right down to minus one. But that happens. Well, just come out here to give you a little update here. I come out working on this here field. I took that, I guess I got half this windrow here all out. I did it here just uh, yesterday. Finished it up yesterday. And uh, I have... Uh, I'm going to do the other one. I just haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with the rest of the trash there. This one here, I leveled it out and then just carried it on down here. So, and you can see my cows, they're not supposed to be here. They're supposed to be down at the barn, but yesterday they decided they were going to push the gates all open and let themselves out. So, I had to scramble last night to get some fencing done. Not what I needed because tomorrow I have a a D6 coming and it's going to take that rock ball out and then that'll open this here all up into one big 10 acre field which is nice then if you want to go spread manure or whatever right, you just there you go so yeah well, that's what I was doing I had the old 1150 out here working away oh my geez there's blattening going on I got a bunch of calves here, a couple of them I got a, I haven't even tagged yet. Needled. There should be one white faced one here. Find the little orphan thing. There she is way over there, laying down. So yeah, that's what I'm up to. So today I'm going to uh well, I got to work on some more fencing. This was pretty quick last night, and then I had to take the dump truck over to raid haul some hen manure. So it's sitting over there, and then we loading it this morning. So I got to get that spread in that, and then we're going later on to move uh, hens today. So all kinds of things on the agenda. And the wife, she's going to town to get some paint and things for that other house. And the kids are going to go play around over there today. I haven't any time for any of that, so I keep on working. Yeah, it'll be something nice. So I get to go. Well, I got to harrow this out a little more, get some more of these sticks out of it, and pick some rocks. But that other windrow there, I'll level it the same direction. And I got a little wood pile out there. I'm gonna nose that down the corner. I should just burn it, but I'm gonna uh, save it cut up firewood or something and uh, get her opened up here so this one here this is five acres here then there's five from here up through the other field and I already took the rock wall out up there so this one I'm gonna doze it right down the same place I was that's all rock down in there stuff I pushed down there for years lots of rock the grass is finally starting to grow. I guess that's what happened. I mean, this is June 1st now. And usually I had them turned out, but now that I was putting them off because I wanted them to come out and do this dozing, and they weren't able to get right out. So, but yeah, it's starting to green up pretty good. Man, that hen manure makes a big difference. So all this ground's already got hen manure on it last fall. Hen, some cow manure. So... It's a little everything. But yeah. Well, I'm so excited to get that out of there. Gee. Well, the more corners you have, the worse it is. You can't get turned in them and get them in, unless you back into the corner, I guess. But I don't need the time for that. I just round, round. So. Anyhow. Won't be, I probably, I don't know, maybe Thursday or in the evenings I might be able to come out and work at that windrow. So I took this whole half of one out in four hours. So that's not bad for an old dozer. They're all nosy. Yeah, quite a thing. I was out here last night dozing. Had my day all planned out and it was going pretty good. I got some fertilizer on yesterday and dozing in the morning. And then uh, I harrowed this out, and 
and I started pushing some of that old roots and stuff down there in that in the wood wooded part. And the kids come out, their arms waving. I said, What's going on here? And then they started screaming, the cows are out. <laughs> so I didn't have any fencing done. Like, other than, I mean, the fence was there, just a lot of it had patch up, wasn't hooked up. And of course, they get running and going, and they don't know what direction they're going in. So, one of them staring at me right there. Somehow I gotta get her back to the barn because she's got an appointment to be burgered on Wednesday. So, I got a day to figure out how she's going to go. But they're going to go back to the barn, enough so I can get her on the trailer. And then the rest can go back out. So, yeah. It's a nice day, though. So that's what this is. Like, this is all stuff I've already shoved down in here before. Kind of trying to build this up. I always thought maybe, I don't know, it's all rock in there, to be honest with you. So. So I just keep kind of making a ramp and then he'll take that rock wall and then bring it right down through and then put it right up over, shove it all down in there. That was all rocks. Just rocks years ago. They just kind of laid in there. So we'll see how he makes out. I got some windrows out back that uh, he can go level out too. If he's, we'll see how this goes. That's the main one. I want that one out. And then I want him to come over and take out these ones way over in there so take them rock walls take them all right to the swamp but we'll see that one shouldn't be wet down there but they don't like it when it's wet so. I can do it it's just a matter of their machines twice the size of my old machine and uh, you know I can't I can't do everything so I'm gonna hire some of it we just get them out for a couple days. Give them a couple days work, and then for now, and then I may have them back out later on. It wasn't ideal. I was hoping they were all going to stay in, but they didn't. So I guess I can't cry about it. So now I got to figure a way of fencing them out of here so I can shove that rock wall down in there. So.